I'm Barbara Kelly with the Hearing Loss Association of America. If you think you have a hearing loss, you will need to get a diagnosis. Here is what you might expect. A hearing loss is diagnosed based on the person's history, behavior, and the results of medical and audiological examinations. When someone exhibits the symptoms of hearing loss, they should be scheduled for a medical evaluation, preferably one done by an otologist. An otologist is a doctor that has additional training in the medical and surgical management of dizziness, hearing loss, and ear tumors. The physician will review the person's history and will check for certain atypical events, such as a sudden hearing loss in one or both ears, dizziness and balance problems, or tinnitus, known as ringing in the ears. Usually, the next step is for an audiological examination to be conducted by a hearing professional. Normally, with the first visit with an audiologist, you're going to be doing a lot of testing. Um, the basis of all hearing loss identification and diagnosis is going to come through the audiogram as well as other testing that we do. An audiogram is a graph of someone's hearing. It uses symbols to represent the uh, softest sounds that you can hear. Um, the numbers across the top represent frequency and they typically go from a low pitch to a high pitch. The numbers down the side go from very soft to very loud. This informs the patient and the examiner about the pattern of the hearing loss, the degree of the hearing loss at different frequencies. So you should expect to be put into a sound booth, um, wear some headphones, probably either raise your hand or press a button whenever you hear beeps, and repeat a lot of words. It is important to test directly for speech because often people with similar pure tone audiograms will understand speech quite differently. There are two types of hearing loss. The first type of hearing loss is conductive hearing loss, which means that there is some sort of obstruction in either your outer or your middle ear which stops the sound from getting to your cochlea. The second type of hearing loss is a sensory neural hearing loss, which is otherwise known as nerve deafness. This is where the damage is found in the cochlea itself. This condition is not or very rarely amenable to medical or surgical intervention. That doesn't mean that you can't get some sort of help either through the use of a hearing aid or if the degree of hearing loss is significant enough, possibly through a cochlear implant. So these are typical steps to finding out if you have a hearing loss. 